You made it. Tell me, uh, I didn't scrape it. That is a good thing. Not close. So Adam is driving his Aston Martin Vanquish. So this is the third time I've taken the Vanquish out since I've owned it. And one of the times was getting home. <laughs> so I've got it in chill mode right now, you know, and it's just gonna very elegantly coast, right? You can see that it's got a very nice, gentle roadside manner. You know, it doesn't beat you up. It's, it's, you can hear it, but it's not obscenely loud, right? The bump doesn't, doesn't beat you up, okay? Now I have it in, I could change the suspension, and make it track, but you know, for right now it just makes sense to keep it like this. One of the things that I was really surprised about with the Vanquish is how tight it is, right? You know, it it just looks so elegant and beautiful, right? I had I had assumed that essentially it would be, you know, more of a GT comfort level, and then I get in it and it's just right on rails, sports car, which is phenomenal like it's preferred i mean that was the most shocking thing about this vehicle it's like from as soon as you get it in gear you realize you're driving something that is a deadly weapon as far as like precision you know and the way they've done it it's just it's awesome there is no give in the steering wheel like you every every motion adjusts your wheel okay and and that's just the way it is it's hydraulic it's not electric which you know, it's so good, it's so organic feeling. It's everything I like about, you know, BMWs and a lot of the other car companies that stick with hydraulic. You know, Porsche is all electric now, and so many of them are. Uh, Audis too, you know. All right, so now I'm gonna put it in manual mode, which means you just click it here. I put it in sport mode, okay? And we can... So this right here, is a ZF six speed bulletproof transmission, but not a dual clutch. Okay, so in other words, you know, it's really good and it's really like it, it's it's got a nice shift to it, but it's not instant. Okay, now the, the 2015 had a uh, just listen to that crescendo though, right. <laughs> it sounds so good, this vehicle. What do you think? <laughs> wait, 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 wait for this, though. Ready for this? smokes you know I mean and I'm out I'm not even getting close to seven you know that's really when it wakes up but all right so is it fast yes is it Camaro ZL1 fast no now one interesting thing about six gear I've noticed is it's absolutely an overdrive gear so if you want power on the highway you have to keep it in fifth and then from there you, you've got all the torque you want. Six gear, you can obviously torque through it, but you, you definitely delay the power plant. So six is an overdrive gear, which is nice because let's say, you know, you're on a long trip. You, you hold this button right here, okay, which is cruise on, you can see it. And then all you gotta do is maybe speed up to what you want, shift and set. Now it's quiet. You can, not, you can turn this off and then you have this just elegant you know this is this is bridge of weirs right this is a special you know leather that comes out of a certain place in scotland where the cows 
they don't get exposed to barbed wire and they don't get eaten alive by mosquitoes. It's, it's a little high up in the mountains. Not, you know, super high, right? But it's Scotland. So point is, is that there are no imperfections in the leather. Them out. You know, so you, you have just this extremely gorgeous interior. And that's why this car, to me, it, you know, it looks beautiful. If you want to have fun, you want to, you know, make it really sporty, you can. But if you also just want to take it out, like me and Chris are today, you know, going for a cigar, you can just relax. You know, we could have a conversation in here very easily. It's got a $8,000 Bang & Olufsen sound system in here. It sounds unbelievably good. The only reason why we're not jamming to music right now is because of the royalty licenses. <laughs> so, okay. Um, you know, and I'll answer your questions on the car, guys, but, you know, I mean, I think I want to have a little conversation on value right now um, without going too deep. This is a $330,000 vehicle. They had an 18-month wait list from the factory when the, when the Vanquish, the new Vanquish came out. You had to put a deposit down. You had to spec your vehicle, right? But bottom line is, like, this particular vehicle, right, you were paying MSRP, you know, for a while. And by the time you got out of that dealership, you know, you also had to pay your taxes. So, I mean, this is a $350,000 investment, um, you know, for you. So, I'm just saying that's, that's a lot of money. And the fact of the matter is you can buy these now at 30 to 40% of their original value, depending on the spec. And my opinion is just unbelievable. I mean... Like, there's so much good here, right? You got an entire carbon fiber, fiber body, you have a V12, you have a hand-built interior, right? Top craftsmanship, I mean, look at the details. Like, this is where you speak into the vehicle. It's aluminum, okay? Who does an aluminum thing you speak into? I don't even think the A8 we had had that. I think it was like that black plastic. So Adam, right? I understand that this is not the base spec of this. Tell me more. So this is, the reason why I bought this particular Vanquish, right? This was the top spec. So this one has the graphite pack right here, which is very rare. It has the herringbone carbon fiber, okay? It has the 177 steering wheel. This right here is the 17 with the Alcantara insert and the color matte stitching. This. This alone, okay, was I think, I don't know, I think it was $1,800 upgrade, which is actually pretty cheap, but it's just a steering wheel, right? These carbon fiber paddles right here with $3,500 upgrade, okay? Carbon fiber paddles, and they're phenomenal. They're heavy, they're just, they're beautiful, right? This has the quilt stitching right here, okay? You can look at it, you can really see it in the back. So that's an upgrade, okay? That's, that's all hand stitched, takes 70 hours to do it. Um, you know, it's got all of the carbon upgrades, so the roof, the mirrors, the door, door knob, the, you know, I mean, everything. So you have exposed carbon on every single angle of the car. The front is exposed carbon, the back is exposed carbon, the side sills exposed carbon, the roof. So, you know, it, it, and, and what's cool about exposed carbon everywhere is you know it's carbon. Like you can just feel it. It doesn't feel like aluminum, right? When you push on it, it's, it just feels very light and it has a certain sound effect. That's just what carbon fiber does, right? I mean, if you really nailed it, you're gonna put an indention in it, you know? It's, but, well, actually, no, I don't think you would, because it's carbon fiber, right? But, like, it would just, you know, it would have a certain sound to it. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, I guess, but it's, it's, I've never really, like, I've washed this car now, I think, once or twice. It's just interesting how much, you know, carbon fiber it has, and uh, the way that feels when you clean it. So, the sound system is still one of my favorite parts about it. That comes stock with the Vanquish. So if you got a DB9, you would have had to pay an 8300, I believe $8,350 or something like that for the sound system of the 2014 year. So the sound system has the pop-up tweeters and it has uh, a seven inch subwoofer, which is virtually right behind me up there. So it really bounces, it really you know, bumps. And then it's got, I think 13 tweeters all over the car. So it just unbelievably good sound system. There's no way that the speaker on that, you know, iPhone would pick it up, but if you get a chance to listen to a speaker system in a Vanquish, I think it's maybe one of the best sounding automobile, you know, basically stock, especially, uh, you know, sound systems. Yeah, how's your fuel economy in this machine? So here's what's cool. You can hit trip A right here. Take a look at this. And you could, uh, you can see I've got 203 miles left and I'm about half, half a tank. So if you're just babying it, you can get, you know, roughly 
I don't know, 330 to 350 miles. Right now I'm getting 36 miles per gallon. Okay, because I'm in six gear, because I'm low revving it, but this is not a good on fuel economy thing, right? You can see the tire monitor right here. So we got 39, 38, 42, 42. So we're right on the money right now, which is great. To answer your question directly, you're looking at around 15 to 20 on the highway. And around town, you're probably looking at around 10 to 13. Now, if you just did what I just did, which is get on the fuel, right? <laughs> you're, uh, you know, you're, you're definitely going to consume some of the petrol. Let's put it that way, right? I mean, this is a V12, so it doesn't sip, it drinks, you know. But boy, does it sound good. I mean, that's one of the appeals of this vehicle because I've never actually driven a V12. The, the biggest motor that I had here, like, give me a little taste. So, here, you should be looking at here. I mean, it's it's just so good. It's so sporty, right? And that, that motor is so linear. You just, you feel like you constantly can, you know, modulate exactly how fast you want and it never feels like you're gonna lose it. That's the beautifulness about linear power. 